Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel in the Yogi. Today's video is basically a push-up tutorial or in yoga we call it the Chaturanga Dandasan pose. Guys, if you follow the video step by step, I promise you're going to get your first push-up in less than two weeks. Alright guys, so let's get started. As an absolute beginner to the world of push-ups, you might want to get started in the beginner-friendly variation, the tabletop. Place your wrists under your shoulders and thighs at about 90 degrees to the ground. As you push the upper body down, fold your elbows and touch your nose to the ground. Return back to the tabletop position. Continue for few repetitions until you start feeling a burn in the triceps. Now once you're absolutely comfortable in the tabletop variation, try the knee push-up. From tabletop position, keep your palm position fixed. Now slightly move your upper body forward, the weight being distributed on your palms and your knees. Feet stay off the map. As you push the upper body down, try to touch the chest to the ground, pressing the floor with your palms and then return back to the central position. Now once you feel comfortable in knee push-up, try the inclined push-up variation. Find an elevated area and place your palms on it. Maintaining a straight line through your body, try touching the chest to the surface as demonstrated in the video. Now keep challenging yourself by decreasing the height of the surface. By this time, you would start feeling a burn in the tricep muscles. The half push-up variation. Well, you would be stuck here, I'm sure, for a while. But at the same time, practicing this consistently would help you get your first push-up. Take the high plank position, wrists under shoulders, core tight, body parallel to the ground. As you push up, try maintaining a roughly straight line throughout your body. Push down only to the level from where you can return to the high plank. You wouldn't want to forcibly reach the ground and collapse not being able to come up all right so now with practice soon you'll be able to touch the chest to the ground and return to high plank seamlessly congratulations you got your first push-up there if you're still struggling with push-ups you might need to strengthen your triceps wrists and core practice tricep back tips Take a chair and place your palms on the chair right next to your hips. Place your feet three to four steps away from the chair and hips just past the chair. Vertically lower your body down and up few repetitions until you feel a burn in the triceps. You also need to have strong wrists and a very strong core. Take the high plank position, hold for a few seconds and then Keeping your palm position and toes constant, roll your body forward, engaging your core really tight. Return back to high plank and continue for few repetitions unless you feel a burning sensation in the core and your wrists. There are a couple of very commonly seen mistakes in push-up. Firstly, if your triceps aren't strong enough, you might be compensating by flaring the elbows out and then driving the hips up, which is definitely a bad posture signal. Secondly, if your core isn't tight enough, you might end up collapsing on the floor as you can see here. Now that we got our first push-up, let's find out what is the Chaturanga Dandasan in yoga. It is the four-limbed staff pose, the palms and feet in contact with the ground. Body stays parallel to the ground instead of touching chest to it. Here, we are actually holding a half push-up position, which requires an extremely strong core, wrists and triceps. This can only be perfected once you are comfortable performing 10 to 15 push-ups in a row. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. Till then, bye-bye. Guys, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.